Wabash Valley College and it's a two-year degree program in diesel equipment technology. We try to hit on ag-related trucking industry and uh, construction industry. So they get heavy construction, ag, and, and makes them more marketable when they go out to go out in the field to find a job. Uh, biodiesel, as far as being introduced to me, was uh, about six years ago and uh, we actually produce it here on campus and then we also burn it on campus. And a lot of farmers, a lot of customers will run that in Illinois due to the tax incentive that's on there. A majority of them are running about B11 because B10 is a breakout on it. We hear customers complaining that this biodiesel is bad because we have to change filters. And what they're not realizing is they've run diesel fuel in their tanks for how many years? and switching over and it's got a cleaning agency to it. So it's going to clean out your tank and your system and that's why you're plugging fuel filters. My recommendation is you drain your tank and you get your tank cleaned out good and then you're, you can replace filters on a regular basis following that if you have a clean tank. It's for those customers that doesn't have that clean tank or transfer tank that has the problems. I think it has more lubricity to it, uh, of course with the fine tolerances in our engine and fuel system, so that's a good thing. Uh, requires less conditioner than what uh, regular diesel fuel does. You know, I, I just feel that it's better for the engine. Don't be afraid of it. It's not only good for the farming industry, but it's good for the fuel industry too.